Number 74. The level of mercury in a stream was suspected to be above the minimum considered safe, one part per billion, by weight. An analysis indicated that the concentration was 0.68 parts per billion. Assume a density of 1.0 grams per mil and calculate the molarity of mercury in the stream. Okay, um, yeah, maybe a little bit of English error in this question. <laughs> Maybe it was just my cadence. Assume a density of 1.0 grams per milliliter and calculate the molarity. Okay, cool. I guess it's grammatic. I guess it's grammatically correct. But the question basically is, is that we need to calculate the molarity, right? So we're working with two things here, right? If I shoot down to the question, we want to find out the the molarity of mercury. Now we've done tons of practice problems. If we guys are on the the playlist, right? Uh, we know that molarity equals the mole of the solute, if we're being specific, divided by the liters of solution. But in essence, it's mole divided by liter, right? And maybe I'll just write this over just so that we, okay, there we go. Okay. So I have to find a mole of a solute, and then I just divide it by the liter of solution. So that's this part. And we're specifically talking about mercury. Mercury is Hg. Now, they're telling us that we have 0.68 parts per billion. Whenever I see parts per billion, I think of one formula, okay? And that is this formula. It's the parts per billion formula. Maybe I'll put this up here, okay? And parts per billion, P, P, B, parts per billion, is the mass of the solute divided by the mass of the solution. Oh, so they kind of have similar things here. They both are solute over solution, solute over solution. But the thing is, is that the units are different. But at least we have the solute and solution matched up. And then with parts per billion, since, you know, billion is times 10 to the ninth, we have to times it by 10 to the ninth. Now, they gave us only this information in our parts per billion formula. They did not tell us that we have any masses of solute or mass of solution. So the only thing that I can work with is I have to work with this formula first, right? They did give us the parts per billion. So I'm going to see what I can do here. So I'm going to say that 0.68 parts per billion, so that's PPB, right? So I'm going to put in this number in here, right? So 0 0.68 equals, now I'm, I'm just going to make this a little bit easier, right? A mass, I'm going to use grams in this case because they gave me a density in grams. So I'm going to keep it in grams. So it's the, I'll just rearrange this. I'll say it's the solute grams divided by the solution grams, and maybe I'll just put G over G, right? Because we don't know those. And then I'm going to times it by 10 to the ninth. Okay. So let's see what I can solve for. I can solve for this ratio by dividing both sides by 10 to the ninth. So this will cancel. And now I have my solute grams divided by my solution grams and that would e equal whatever this is point point six eight divided by ten to the ninth I get six point eight right it's point six eight yeah I get six point eight times ten to the negative tenth okay cool now let me let's just make this so that it's I'll show you guys in two seconds okay Oh boy, now we have a ratio on one side, but we have just a random number on the other side. How do I make this number into a fraction? Did someone say divide by one? Yeah, in any case, if you want to take a number and just make it into a fraction, all you have to do is just divide by one. And now I have two parts. I have 6.8 times 10 to the negative 10th going with the grams of solute 
And then I have the one, which is the grams of solution. Do you see that little trick there? So now I have the two individual parts. I have my solute, which is 6.8 times 10 to the negative 10th, and that's in grams. And if I'm looking for a molarity, what do I want my solute unit to be? Oh, I need it in moles. So I have to convert this into moles. Now for my solution, I have from here one gram, but according to my solution, I need it into, or according to the molarity formula, I need it into liters. So I have to work on these independently. It doesn't matter which one you do first. Let's do the solute first. I'm going to convert the 6.8 times 10 to the negative 10th grams into moles. Well, we've done this many times, right, where we've been converting from grams to moles. Now, they did tell me that it is mercury. So I'm going to say that this is mercury, Hg. How do I go from grams of mercury to moles of mercury? Well, multiply by that ratio, right? Throw the unit that you don't want on the bottom and we want moles of mercury. If we're doing a mole to gram conversion of the same element, that's the periodic table. And remember, if you're using the periodic table, you always have one mole. The mass on the periodic table goes with the unit gram. So I go on my periodic table, I see that Hg on my periodic table weighs about 200.6, and that goes with the grams. Cancel out the units that can cancel, and now you have the, part, the, the top part, right? So 6.8 times 10 to the negative 10th divided by 200.6. I get uh, 3 point, we'll say 3.39 times 10 to the negative 12th. And that's mole of Hg. And that was the solute. So I have the top number now. Maybe I'll put this in black. I have the top number, 3.39 times 10 to the negative 12th. Now all I gotta do is I gotta work on my solution. I have one gram, I gotta convert it into liters. How do I go from a mass to a volume, a gram to a liter? Oh, that's why they gave me the density. So let's see, maybe I will do the solution on this side. Let's just maybe put a barrier down here, because I think we, we got enough room. So for the solution, being one gram, I can use my density formula, right? So if we do D equals M over V, right, you can plug in the density and the mass, right, and solve for volume. Uh, but just know that if we just rearrange this, the volume would equal the mass over the density. So I'm just going to do this just for uh, space reasons. The volume is the one gram divided by the density, which is one. Oh, nice. So one divided by one is one, right? But here, I put in a gram value to get out a milliliter. So I have one mil now. I need liters. So how do I go from a mil to a liter? Yeah, you got it. It's divided by a thousand. Quick little shortcut there. So one divided by 1000 is my new volume of 0 0.001 liters. And that now is going to go in the denominator. Ooh, that was a little ugly. Actually, let me do it in red. 0 0.001 liters. And now you are all set to go. Let me just pull this down a little bit just so that I have a little bit more room. And that's all you're doing. 3.39 divided by 10. Uh, 3.39 times 10 to the negative 12th divided by 0 0.001, you get 3.39 times 10 to the negative ninth. And now that's the molarity or capital M, or you could do, uh, you know, mole over liter, but that's the answer. And there you go. Calculate the molarity in the stream of mercury, 
There it is, 3.39 times 10 to the negative ninth. Okay, guys, what'd you think? Hopefully this helped. These are a little bit more challenging because they're giving you basically two formulas and you have to kind of connect them. But I know you guys got this, all right? So keep studying hard, keep going through the problems. And if you guys aren't on the playlist, uh, there's going to be a link on the video soon that you can click to be on the playlist so that you can see all the questions that we did for molarity. What else is on chapter three? Uh, molarity, we have these types of questions. We did gram to mole conversions. So we got you. All right. I will see you guys all in the next lesson. Have a great day. Bye-bye.